Alright, story time. So, we're in lockdown at the moment, lockdown number four. Uh, Sometime briefly after lockdown number three, I went to Sydney and I flew down on a plane. Uh, We'd just come out of lockdown number three and there was like cameras there, but that's another story. Um, It was the first flight out of Melbourne. This was very early in the morning. It's an embarrassing story, by the way. And so, um, you know, very early in the morning, I've just gotten to the airport. There's like, I'm only like, you know, four hours early. I was like an hour early, so it's just fine. But um, first order of business is let's get a coffee. So I go have a coffee and immediately the second order of business is now I need a poo. (laughs) So I work my way to the gate, just suss out like, you know, there's the gate. Where's the closest toilet? How long to gate, you know, in the case of emergency, planes ready, hurry up, stop pooping. So, you know, go to the toilet. Um, it's one of those ones, there's three stalls. And I go to the one uh, closest to the wall. There's someone in the middle. Someone has picked the middle stall to poo, which is, you don't do that. It's just inappropriate. It's like picking the middle urinal when there's three against the rules. Anyways, so the guy in the middle, I'm on the right, against the wall, pooping. The guy in the middle gets up and he leaves. Uh, And then there's another guy that comes in. Uh, Don't think he knows that I'm there, but I'm not actually sure. And he goes to the one, you know, does the appropriate thing and goes to the one on the far left. Anyways, I'm there pooping uh, and then I start to hear like some heavy breathing and I'm like is this guy at like 7 a.m in the morning having a wank in an airport toilet while I'm there I'm like surely not um obviously I don't say anything but um the the heavy breathing starts to become like weeping it's like is that crying and he was crying But it was that crying that's like when you're trying not to cry and you just end up sounding like a fucking donkey. And he was just like... (laughs) Anyways, it's not funny because the man's obviously upset. Um, But I wasn't wasn't really sure what to do because, um, you know, I was pooing and this man is obviously distressed and I kind of want to be like, you know, you okay? But also I don't because I'm pooing. So I get out my phone and I go to the, the group message. Boys, there's a guy in a stall next to me and he's crying. What do I do? And so Mitch is like, just be like, hey man, are you okay? And I'm like, Mitch, there is literally a poo halfway out my butthole. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, I mean, like for me, what do I do for me? How do I, you know? What do I do? And then <laughs> Mitch responds. Just say, Hey man, I'm working through something big myself. <laughs> so I laughed. He stops crying. And he gets up and leaves. And I still think about that um, today. Yeah, thanks for listening to my story. <laughs>